people. Hello. Hello, hello, good people. I am Dr. Holly Kelly, and this is Dr. Kelly's perspective for Tuesday, March 28th, 2017. Happy birthday to my oldest nephew. He is 28 on this 28th day of March. You know, um, I, I wanted to to stick in the passion lane and passion zone of uh, family. Faith, family, and friends is one of my passion areas that I give perspectives on. So I want to stay right there. I say stay because if if many of you saw the perspective from Saturday when my husband and I were celebrating our 29th anniversary and, um, and so I had a special guest on in, in the appearance of my husband. So this week is spring break for one of our daughters. And so, you know, she, our youngest daughter is home and we're just having so much fun with her. It's, it's just a, a happy time. She's a wonderful young woman and it just, she's, you know, the life of the party, that kind of person. And so she just brings a joy and her middle name is Praise. And she brings a lot of that wherever she is. Hello, Shima and everyone who may be joining me. But this is what I thought about because um, from Saturday's perspective, some of you offline got with me and said, oh, you know, I, I wish we could be that happy or I really hope to make it to nine years, much less 29 years. And and it got me to thinking that um, when we put on one part of our story, which is smiles and laughter and love and not that that is not real, but it's not the whole story. It sort of reminded me of, you know, when you go to church and you have those you know, old fashioned bragamonies, I, I, I'm sorry, I mean, testimony sessions, which sometimes sound like bragamony sessions where, you know, you, you're thanking God and you're praising God for your children because they've, they've graduated college and they've got the good jobs. And, you know, when the sister or brother approaches you offline and says, how, how did you do that? Because I am going through hell right now with my teenager. If all you do is say, well, girl, just pray and have faith. Brother, just pray and have faith. You're not telling the whole story. You neglected to mention the times, the nights you were up weeping and wailing and crying and praying and begging that that child didn't get pulled over for DUI. You forgot to mention those parts. That's part of that story. And what happens when we don't, when we only show or tell the glitter and the glam of it, we leave other people believing that they can't, they can't get through what they're going through. They'll never get to the other side and enjoy their children. They'll never get to the point where they are happy in their marriage and they're back in love and, and the trust has been restored. You leave people thinking that, and that is not the truth. It's it's a part of the story. We need to tell the whole story. For those of you who don't come from the faith background and might not be familiar with testimony, the same things happen in workplaces. You know, you are now a GS 35 and or, or whatever supervisor extraordinaire. And when others who come along behind you and ask, how did you do it? I'm, you know, I really want to get to where you're doing. If all you can do is say, girl, I just, I put my nose to the grind and I just was working hard and, you know, I did everything right. I hit off. That's not the whole story. Selective amnesia allowed you to forget conveniently to tell them that the lad prior to this position, the last four interviews, they didn't hire you. You neglected to tell them the dozens of applications that you put in where you didn't even get a call for an interview. That's part of that whole story. And it's, it's the whole story that will give someone just enough hope to keep going because they see you on the other side. Okay, they see that other side. And when you tell them parts of your story with wisdom, with discretion, but when you give them 
more of the whole story, they are encouraged to hold on. They believe that they can make it through. This phase, this, this season of life that they are in now won't always be. And so um, I, I wanted to just encourage us to tell the whole story. As a matter of fact, my, I'm going to have another special guest on Saturday's perspective because um, we want to give a little more of that whole story. Okay, so it, it's our responsibility. It's our responsibility not to allow people, hey, Joe, my bam pool partner, it, it's a responsibility that we have to let people know that they can make it. You didn't make it. You didn't get through rough patches just because you're so extraordinary or you're some super faith filled. That wasn't the reason. It was part of the reason, but when you neglect to tell the whole story, you leave people hanging and depleted and feeling as if they can't get through. Okay, so, you know, be selective, use wisdom, but tell more of your story. Okay, if you are finding any nuggets in these perspectives, share them. And I will see you Thursday evening. Until then, take real good care of yourselves.